Over the past 30 years, various research groups have stimulated the spinal cord electrically to restore walking after paraplegia. And after intense rehabilitation, a select few individuals were able to take a few steps, but only with electrical stimulation. And nobody understood why. My team took the time to understand the science behind it, which allowed us to stimulate the spinal cord as the brain would do naturally. And the result was completely unexpected. After several months of training with electrical stimulation, our three participants were able to activate their previously paralyzed muscles without electrical stimulation. I mean, they could even take a few steps over ground, hands-free, without any support. For me, seeing this recovery was amazing. So for me, it was incredible to see all these patients moving their legs without electrical stimulation. While these results are incredible, they are not completely unexpected because we have observed the pronounced growth of new nerve connections in rats when delivering the exact same intervention. Instead of applying continuous electrical stimulation, the Swiss team developed targeted electrical stimulation that promotes a physiological activation of the spinal cord. This means that trains of electrical pulses are delivered at specific locations, which are controlled in real time in order to mimic how the brain normally activates the spinal cord. Within a few weeks, this Swiss precision allowed hands-free walking in people who had sustained a spinal cord injury more than four years ago. So how does it work? An electrode array connected to a pulse generator is surgically implanted over the region of the spinal cord that controls leg muscles. So this surgery needed to be very precise in order to target all the muscles of the legs. So for me it was amazing to work with a team of engineers who came with their cutting edge technologies to guide my surgery. The timing of the stimulation is controlled in real time to coincide with the intended movements of the legs. Voluntary leg movements stop as soon as the electrical stimulation is turned off, but resume immediately when the stimulation is switched on again. One of the key moments I would say was uh, when I started walking hands-free on the treadmill. A lot of body weight support, but uh, really letting the bars go and do one, two, three steps without using my hand was uh, really crazy because uh, I, I just couldn't do it before. Yeah, yeah, three steps! All our participants regained control over their paralyzed muscle, but they still worked a lot better with the electrical stimulation, which compelled us to develop very practical technology that they could use in their everyday life. A watch that responds uniquely to their own voice allows each participant to switch the stimulation on and off. Wireless technologies control the timing of electrical stimulation in real time, enabling the individuals to walk freely in ecological settings. Three participants were involved in the study, and they are all regaining some autonomy. But this is just the beginning. The next step is to start earlier, just after the injury when the potential of recovery is much larger. We obtain an important proof of principle in three individuals, but the challenge for us is to make this a treatment for everyone in the future.